What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Tale of the Jagle Bagel. Um, I know it's been a while since y'all seen my face on this camera. I've just been really busy lately with training, work, and a lot of stuff going with, going on with me in my personal life right now. But um, for this episode, uh, pretty much we're competing at 145. Uh, only submission tournament means you got to win by submission only. So points, takedown, certain position, key holds, ends. Jiu-Jitsu really doesn't mean a lot. You just gotta pretty much, you know, you know, control your your uh, component, your opponent, uh, make it, you know, make your opponent tire, and then just try to, you know, go for your your key ups, uh, submission locks. You try to go for, and you know, if nobody gets a submission. Within the time limit, you have to go to overtime. It's, it's like a best two out of three series in certain positions in Jiu Jitsu that you have to win by. And if you guys don't win that, I mean, you just keep going pretty much until I mean, somebody has to hire a uh, riding time or somebody gets out faster in Jiu Jitsu. It's kind of like similar to like wrestling uh, if you guys wrestled before. So, right now, I'm heading up to, uh, to the place right now to where I'm competing at today. Um, Pretty much not worried about my weight right now. I'm probably like 10 pounds under. I walk around naturally 135, which I'm at 145 today. Um, this tournament is really high level. Uh, I'm going against a lot of brown, black belt competition. And, you know, even though I'm new to the game, um, I just feel like my IQ with my wrestling background will uh, hold me up for, for the most point uh, throughout each match. I mean, I'm just... I'm just here to have fun. Uh, mentally, I feel good. I um, really didn't feel, woke up in the best feeling today. Um, I was, my body just feels really down, like, uh, like with, with the weather changing in Ohio. Pretty, you know, pretty much, uh, you know, it's you know it's getting chilly out here now. I'm wearing a hoodie. I don't know what the weather is right now, but uh, basically, uh, with the weather changing, my sinuses start to kick in, my nose start clogging up, I just can't really sleep well, just, I just, I don't know, I just what, haven't been feeling well the past couple days, but uh, it doesn't matter where you're at mentally, man, because when it's competition day, man, whatever, however you're feeling, you just got to go out there and compete, man, and, and give it y'all, man, regardless of how you're feeling on a day-to-day -day basis, because nobody really cares, man, I mean, I, I'm, I mean, I'm going to push through, I'm not saying I'm going to die out there, but you know, it's... It's, yeah, I know, like, in some of my matches, I might not feel it, man, but I can't show that type of weakness. You got to just keep pushing through. So, I'm going to keep you guys up with more updates once I get to the place. And let's have fun with it, y'all. Let's get it. What's up, everybody? Um, may wait today. Well, I was pretty much late to weigh-ins, but, but since I'm, like, 10 pounds under, uh, my coach, he was cool with it uh, for weigh-ins. Uh, I don't know what type of punishment I'm gonna get afterwards for that, but you know I'll make it up. I'm telling my situation, what's going on with me, how I'm feeling, but I'm still gonna push through. You know, not really feeling the best right now. I really feel like shit, but mentally I just gotta go in there and just have fun with it, get my game plan going, have fun with it, and then just go for my submissions. I'll keep y'all with more updates with our first match, and let's get it. Gummy make some paper boy
me make some paper boy Wake up to reality. Nothing ever goes as planned in this accursed world. The longer you live, the more you will realize that the only things that truly exist in this reality are merely pain, suffering, and futility. I hope you guys enjoyed that little clip of me losing. Wasn't the best feeling in the world. And wasn't the results I was looking for either. But, you know, things happen. Um, I'm glad it happened to me because... Ever since I got into BJJ, I've been winning so many matches, so many tournaments that I really never, you know, got to see my full potential to see what would happen if I ever did lose. And what I mean by that is, it's like when you win so much that you never know how good you are and what mistakes you can do to make yourself better. But when you do make mistakes like I did and I lost, I can learn from this experience and move forward with it now now this was my first ever like pro bjj tournament so like there was cash money on the line a lot of high level competition of the guys that were you know in the bjj uh belt ranking system that were like purple belt brown black belt as i'm still a white belt but i have a high level grappling uh, iq with wrestling in my background and at arsenals too but uh what i can get from this tournament is that it was fun man i liked it a lot you know i saw a lot of good guys compete man one guy who was like ranked 10th in the world uh he didn't even win it and and it's shocking that the guy i lost to he had the guy who won the whole tournament so if i would have won then i would have had the guy who won the whole tournament pretty much and i wish i would have I wish I wasn't feeling uh, fatigue and I was sick, man, you know, competing against the guy who I was facing. Uh, I wish I would have done better in, cer in certain situations. I wish I would have pulled the trigger a little bit faster on my takedown. I wish I would I wish I could have, like, you know, passed his guard quicker. Or there's a lot of scenarios that could have happened, should have, would have, could have. But, you know, the results were right there on video. I lost fair and square. I should have fought out of his triangle, but, you know, he had my arm down. And he extended it to an arm bar in that triangle position. But, you know, it happens. I'm glad it did happen to me so I can move forward. You know, I talked a lot with my coaches. And, you know, my coaches said I was, you know, I did pretty good, man, for my first ever pro BJJ tournament. You know, I just got to get, get more experience, get better with it. You know, that's just time coming comes over and over again. And like I said, I'm, I'm still new to the game. And, you know, that's a lot more. I'm coming at it with all y'all, man with more you know more tournaments and more stuff coming in to play but you know uh, i'm just really happy that i got it in there and i got the feeling what it feels like because i see these tournaments all the time but i was like dang it's crazy that i got into a, a pro tournament like that so quick with cash money on the line you know and i kind of want to do this more man I, you know this is the wave i chosen and this is like what i want to do for the rest of my life man i would love to like you know compete like that get paid, get sponsorships and, and, you know, et cetera stuff co that comes with it, man. But, you know, it's got to take a long time, a lot of time, a lot of hard work and dedication, but, you know, I'm happy that this did happen to me and, you know, we're just going to keep moving. We're going to just keep going. Uh, with, 
with that being said, you know, we got more stuff coming in. I have, uh, I think, a competition in October. But I do have something more planned in mind in November, but definitely in December. You know, I've been working hard towards that certain uh, goal when I'm, that I'm trying to achieve that I've been doing for, for a whole year. So I hope you guys can just keep updated with me, with the channel. Uh, some of y'all who do know me personally well, y'all know what I'm about to get myself into. But like I said, just make sure you guys comment, like, subscribe. Uh, to keep updates with all the channel and like i said i'm gonna try to do my best to, to upload more videos here and there i've just been really struggling with that i've just been busy like i said with my personal life going through a lot right now but i'm doing better right now but you know i've just been going through a lot lately with work personal stuff and like just training every day so i'm you know this time i get i procrastinate on things but this sometimes i'm just so busy with stuff i just don't have time so i need to have a better understand and manage my time better and, and get that part but as i was saying just like comment subscribe to the channel keep updates and i'll come back with y'all with more action let's get it let me tell you something you already know the world ain't all sunshine and rainbows it's a very mean and nasty place and i don't care how tough you are it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it you me or nobody is going to hit as hard as life but it ain't about how hard you hit it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Now, if you know what you're worth, now go out and get what you're worth. But you got to be willing to take the hits and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that.